Y'all, this is Coach R. Anthony with the Six Figure Trucking Channel, and today we got to do a little dirty work. You know what I mean? We got to get underneath the truck and replace the SCR heater line number five. It went bad. It started throwing the code um, SPN 5488 uh, FMI5, so 5488.5. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get underneath here and replace it. But first, here's the line. I got it from Freightliners, about $170 up here in New Jersey. It's a smaller of the two. It's two of them that run across the cross member that connects to the other side. I forgot what the thing is called it connects to. But anyway, it connects to the other side and I'm just gonna replace it. Now, to replace it, I had to learn this the hard way. So, I don't know what that sound is. But what you have to do with these plastic connector things, it's like a, I forgot what they call them. But anyway, you just squeeze here. You just squeeze these connectors right here and it will release the uh, thing that it's connected to. So you squeeze this part together and then it releases it and you just pull it out. So that's how we're gonna get this thing done. Uh, like I said, it goes across and uh, you know, don't waste extra time going to the shop when you don't have to. You can just go by the line, put it on yourself and be done. You will have to clip off a lot of um, zip ties that were tied on, the big thick ones. So make sure you got some good uh, wire snips and uh, you have to take off about three, I think it was three bolts that kind of held it together. But the rest um, is just zip tied up and the heat shield. So once you get all that kind of removed, you'll see what you're up against. It's pretty easy to slide things in and out. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, and always remember y'all, you know what I mean? Safety first and no glove, no love. Safety first, put on your glasses cause stuff be falling, some stuff fell in my eye, man. I almost went blind. So I'm gonna put on my glasses and gonna get underneath here. Alright, so I got my handy dandy Stanley flashlight here. And uh, you can get a you can get this one uh, on the link in the description below. But anyway, um here is the line right here. It goes across up through there. And uh, I'll come on the other side and show you guys where it but it crosses over right here and goes over that. It usually goes up here, but I've already disconnected it from everything up there. And it comes across underneath here. And here is the heat shield thing that they put on it, the heat packet thing. And it goes over here. It connects right there. That's where it connects right there on the other side. And I have to remove those. right there this is it right here and it kind of goes back because it has a secondary wire that you have to take this you have to take this off right here too to get to it it kind of connects over so it's really pretty pretty straightforward but it will require a little pulling back a little extra work but you can see it right there is the thinner of the two The other two, this one on the bottom is the right one. That's heater line number five right here. So I'm about to disconnect it and take it out and then go from there. You squeeze these clips right here and then you just pull it out. It'll just slide out. But you gotta pull these first and I can only do it with, I could do it with my hand. So let me do that right quick. There you go. That's the fluid. The heater line, as you can see, right there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to pull this out. Or I might have to cut it, actually. Uh, if I can't get it out, I don't wanna break anything, so I might have to cut it just a little bit. That's why you need glasses on, people. See all this crud coming off of here? That would've been right in my eye. Thankfully, I got on my glasses. So you wanna disconnect this guy. So that goes here. All right, so I 
got the line disconnected. And now all I'm going to do is basically follow it through back. All right, y'all, I'm putting the finishing touches on here. I put this uh, zip tie to tie these back together. Um, but I put this line back on, as you can see, right there. And, uh, zip tied it all the way across. And uh, the best way I found to get to the other side, the top side, is to go underneath here where the fuel tank is. And you'll come around and then you'll come up here. And this is where it is. It's easier to get to from this angle than it is any other angle from the front or anything. But this is your best way to get there. As you can see, I replaced it right there. All right, y'all, I just finished putting in the DEF SCR heater line number five. Number four and number five are connected together, allegedly. That's what they told me. But uh, this is the old one, as you can see. It, uh, it doesn't look like it's bad or anything, corrosion or anything, I can't see. But apparently what it does is take the DEF, heats it up, and then returns it back into the system so that's what this is um just figured that out when df was dripping all over my phone and stuff but nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video look at this all for the cause y'all i know rip the pocket out look at that well that's all right just rip another nine coordinate but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video catch you on the next go around peace